What's going on everybody, Moose here. And again today we're going to start a new series for you guys called How to Get Nuked Out. This is going to be all about how to get nuked out on free for all. So getting into my class quick, I have my Man of War class, this is the one I'm always using. With that I got my ELO site, quick draw, stock, long barrel, silencer, and on top of that I'm running with Ghost and Scavenger. Now here's where the important stuff comes into play. Here's the map layout of Breach, this is the map we're going to be dealing with today. Here's the section of the map that we're going to be focusing on, and we're mainly going to be staying in that green glow. Now, the blue dot is me, that's where I spawned in this particular match. All the other red dots are the seven enemies that spawned in particular on this one game. Now, on top of that, we have these yellow dots. These dots are actually the other spawns throughout the game where they can spawn, just so you guys are aware where the spawns are. Now, this is very important. This is the key part right here, is this yellow circle. If you can stay out of this yellow circle, you can force these five spawns, and that's what you want to do in this area. Now, if you force those five spawns, 80% of the time, they're going to be running to that back door or the side door. Very, very rarely do you see anyone coming through that front door. Nobody likes running through the middle of the map in the wide open area, so don't really expect anyone to be coming through that way. I don't think I had one guy this entire game come through that front door. Now. Start off some gameplay. I don't know what the hell happened with my second shot. I clearly lost all ability to aim, but somehow fall off the map, recover, get back up, and get a nice little double kill. No clue how that happened. And this is actually the game I went on to get the nuked out on, so it sucked just sitting here with a bloody screen the whole time, but it happened. We managed to stay alive. I stuck to my own rules, followed those pictures I showed you guys a few seconds ago, they really, really help once you understand the spawns of the map. Now, while I'm going for a nuke doubt, I like to stay active for like the first 10 kills or so. Otherwise, it's going to get really boring trying to go for a nuke doubt. So once you set yourself at 10 and 0, that's when you can kind of get down into this lockdown mode. You're in a good rhythm. You're 10 and 0. You're ready to go. And this is where you want to put all this stuff into play. Now, my secrets to getting nuked out are that you need to hold down about one third of the map. You don't want to be running around the whole map. Because there are random spawns, you're going to get picked off eventually. You need to get in a zone where you know no one's going to spawn near you, but you know where they can be coming from. And that's when you're going to get the nuked out. As soon as I exit that yellow circle, you're going to see guys spawning back there. So I'm out of the yellow circle. As soon as someone dies, they spawn right back there. And always make sure you're reloading before you're turning a corner. Just in case, even if you don't have a hater up, just always make sure you're doing it. And sure enough, right through the back door, they funnel them out of that yellow circle. And that makes it really, really easy for holding down this zone. Now, I'm going to slow it down for a bit. So see that guy on the left of my mini-map? He spawned way over there. But still, like I was saying, people like to go to that back door. They don't like running through the middle of the map. They like to go through the areas where they're going to get shot the least at. So that guy's going to walk all the way from that spawn all the way to the back door, like I was saying in my pictures earlier. And I'm also running with Vision Pulse, and with a constant UAV hater and having the Vision Pulse ready really, really helps to have a constant sweep of the map. And I don't think there's anything better than the Vision Pulse, especially when you're trying to get gameplay like this. Now, the biggest thing is understanding the spawns, where they could be coming from, where they could be going. And once you guys figure that out, that's when you really get good at free-for-all. And again, with the nuked out, for those who don't know, it's 30 0 in free for all. No kill streaks, only passive score streaks. And here's this guy. He spawned over there, but he's still coming to the back door. So get used to this back door. Now, killing this guy, guess where we're going? Right to the back door. He's going to funnel right through the back door again. It's that simple. So the hater's still up. We're going to play it simple. There's a few guys in the room next to me. The last thing I want to do is run in there, go aim at one guy, and get turned on by the other. So we're going to play it safe, let one of those guys run out, kill the other guy, and then come back and get the other one. As you can see, we still got guys spawning in the back. On top of that, I get a nice easy kill with this guy. He was controlling something. Again, constant pulse of the hater, of the UAV, of the vision pulse really, really helps. And before you know it, the game is over. Nice 30 and 0. So that's going to wrap it up for the first episode in my Nuked Out series. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment below gonna try to get some more of these videos out to you guys so obviously getting nuked out is not the easiest task but it can be done and i'm hoping to play some more free for all
hopefully get some more of these videos uploaded for you guys. So make sure to subscribe, stay up to date with all these videos. I have a cool series on creative classes, especially for hardcore players. Got some cool glitches, mothership kill streaks, everything like that. So make sure to check some of those out. Like I said, subscribe, like this video, and as always, thanks for watching.